Good morning. You Hi. are going to be steaming up. I'm going to be looking quite foggy around about now. Um, so, sorry about that. It's because you've been in the cool room. Cool room. We are here. How are you feeling, baby? Oh, yes. Look at that fog. Look at that fog. I'm feeling nice and warm. Nice and warm. The sun is out. I think it's probably, if it, if it isn't a nice day today, then it, I think it tends to be not nicer in the afternoon. So it's good, we woke up at like 6 this morning. Well, Adam would be awake a lot longer, but um, I woke up at 6. Yeah, it feels like 1... It's, really, um, it's about 1pm for us now, but it's, it's but it's actually 20 to 8 So here. considering we went to bed at like 8 o'clock, I mean I didn't get up till 6, that's a long sleep. Yeah, um, exactly, I think I, I feel it. great. But I was just going to say that it's like super quiet and that's partially because it's really early in the morning but also I think it's just not the season for loads of people to be coming right now maybe because it's not summer holidays yet yeah that so sounds good so I think good. we're at the app we're at the main pool we were going to go to the adult pool but actually there's more like going on here it's close to the restaurant and there's like a really nice bar and the pool's huge whereas the adult pool is smaller not that I've seen it so we're gonna see how we feel about today but we are next to like the volleyball and stuff so it could be loud I just told her, <laughs> it's actually quite funny that she is not really that prepared for this holiday. I'm so underprepared for the holiday. I don't have a beach bag. I don't have like... She was just saying how um, she doesn't have a watch. Have and a watch that is annoying. That I, I couldn't imagine back. having a... I find a, that without really having... annoying. Because I'm constantly ad asking Adam what to try um, this. I've got to get into it. Um, I need like some kind of beach long trousers. I don't have a car at the end point. It's a little bit chilly. Where are you going? Up the stairs. Is it? Adam is at the bread station. I'm wondering whether it's too bad to have a donut first thing in the morning. I've already spotted crepes over there, bacon somewhere over there. This is scrummy. Hi everybody, it's uh, day three of our wonderful time. I'm laying here. And Hope is over there. Hope! Hello! Hi. So we've got pretty. She says she's getting a 360 degree tan. I'm just working on the front 180. Um, I'm going to hand you to Hope now, and she's going to tell you about what we've been doing. Oh, she's coming over. Hey, what do you say? Can I come in there? No, I'm not coming in yet. But you do a little vlogging in the pool. There you go. Wrap it around you. Hi. I don't know what you can see. I'm just going in the pool. I might um just get in. I might go on one of these guys. I've got beds like all around the pool. We ate lunch in there yesterday. It's very nice, I might do that again. Nice because you get a nice little view. Originally I had my table in the pool, in the sun, so we had to move. Um, yesterday we went to the shop and found a little Christmas tree decoration. We're going to start our collection, our family Christmas tree collection, now we're married and in our own family. Um, Adam was very against the idea, but <laughs> took some convincing. We didn't have any money, so we've got to go back and pay for him today. It's a little Christmas tree. Um, we were actually talking, I'll talk to you guys about it, about names. Um, our name. My name is obviously Hope Harding. Adam's name is Adam Willis. I'm going to say Hope Willis then. Ooh, sat down. Um, and so, I don't really know what I want to do with my name yet. Um, whether I change it or not. I really like my name. My name means a lot to me. Um, I like the way it looks, I like the way it sounds, but equally, yes, it means a lot to me. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know whether I'll be Hope Willis, Hope Harding, or Hope Harding Willis. I quite like Hope Harding Willis, it's growing on me, but I've got to convince Adam, and equally convince him that when we have children, they will be Harding Willis. So I want the same name as our children. So we'll see. 
let me know what you guys think. I feel like it's now okay to not have the same name for the wife not to take the husband's name. It's a very outdated rule or tradition. What about you guys? Any of you guys got married and taken your husband's name? Or do your parents have different names to each other and to you? I'd like to know. Because really, it doesn't really matter. Like, how often do you even use your name? So if it matters to me to keep it, then why not? I think Adam just thinks it's a bit weird. So he's very cautious of the idea. But anyway, we're having a lovely time. <laughs> it's so warm, it's so sunny, it's so lovely. It's had a, We've had a bit of rain. Yesterday it was really nice because it was sunny, but then it started to rain. So you were lying out and it was just like you were being sprinkled and it was really nice. Very nice indeed. But the sky today looks very blue. Good evening everyone. You'll have to excuse my horrible um, burn lines. <laughs> I feel like it looks worse on camera. Adam's just deciding on how to wear his shirt. And this evening, we're going on a little honeymoon dinner. I don't know if it's going to be um, that nice. It's kind of like when you um, are on holiday and there's those like dinner cruises and you think, oh, that sounds so romantic, and you go on them and there's just like this like weird like karaoke style drag queen singing or something. I love how we both already thinking that in our head but we haven't talked about that yet but yes it may well be a little bit lame a little bit a little bit weird a little bit faux romance yeah you know so. I mean? so and we might have to share a table which will be kind of weird and considering we're in an all-inclusive restaurant it kind of doesn't really matter that this is like a thing like a thing that they're putting on do you know well, what i mean I like, feel like it'll be a little bit turned up for the romance hopefully yes so the restaurant we were in candles Yesterday the restaurant we were in were like, was like, um, I guess we, it was pitch black by the time we were there so we couldn't really see, but it was um, on the beach, basically. Um, it was like in a little, kind of looked like you were on a lake, because it was one of those like lake house style restaurants. Um, and it was really lovely, apart from the fact that they were playing really bizarre rap music. And I say bizarre, it was kind of just normal rap music, but bizarre because it was like this beautiful setting, but yet there was like songs where they were constantly just swearing and talking about sex and just like really loud too. So it was really weird that it was like this really romantic place and then they were like, had this really odd music on. But the reason they do it is because the bar staff need like to get pumped up to enjoy their jobs. So they're in control of the music and they want that kind of music. And I totally understand that, because if they had just like, you know, like some kind of classic or mm. romantic thing, it would probably be super boring at the bar. But or a bib -li. customers should, should come first, is what we said. So everyone we've already paid, so they probably don't care. Anyway, um, maybe we'll pop you out and you can have a look. Maybe we won't, because it'll be really awkward. We'll see. I just got sat down, so you haven't missed anything again. I know I always say that, but you haven't, okay? We just sat down at this table. It's covered in pink, uh, not petals so much as like leaves, or, oh no, I guess they are. Petals. What are they? Uh, focus. Nobody else has got them. Only the romantic honeymoon people get these. We are honeymooners. Isn't it's my it's wife it's absolutely it's stunning? stunning? You're my wife. Wifey. We haven't done much of that yet, have we? Wifey. Saying wifey. <laughs> we got our champagne. We are yet to find out whether we're paying for it. We're definitely not. <coughs> definitely not paying for that. Because <laughs> it tastes like bubble bear. <laughs> it tastes like schlur. It tastes like schlur, you're correct. Schlur is a non-alcoholic drink that Christians bring to parties. Christians? Yes. I drank it for on Christian. Yeah, that is a little off. It's a shame. We just got given the starter and we couldn't eat that. And now we've been given our champagne and we can't drink it. Okay, here we go. Woohoo! 
just come away from our kind of gross pudding that they gave us and we've come and got ice cream. I like to get ice cream and then they have a chocolate fountain. So you pour chocolate on it and it sets and you put sprinkles in it. Adam got like yogurt and stuff and then he took like one bite and he was like, this is disgusting. So he's gone to go, I think I can see him making a waffle. Ice cream. Oh, hi, hi. Hey, what'd you get? Um, did you tell them about my first try? Yeah, and I saw you make a waffle or something. I've got a waffle. With what? Cookies and cream? Cookies and cream. I didn't rate cookies and cream the last time we had it. Tell me that. Before I eat oh, it. no, no, sorry. You've had it before. Rude and attractive. That's, that's a match made in heaven. You've had it before. Take three. <laughs> I'll pretend I've got another one. Right, I've got my third one. I've got vanilla this time. They don't have yet. vanilla. You've got for cookies and cream again. Oh wait, you haven't moved. I'm really enjoying mine. I might go for seconds. Because it's really scrummy. Will you judge me if I go for seconds? Hi guys, I just feel the need to check in and say that I'm not actually going for seconds. That's, that's all I need to tell you. Just so she gets points with all you dieters. My waffle was super. At tonight's meal, tell them. So it was the romantic thing. Um, five course meal. The steak course was really, really, really good. Everything else? <laughs> The starter was a pile of leaves that literally tasted like grass. It tastes like grass. I was like, Come. I hope it tasted it, and she was like, it tastes like grass. And I was like, it's a salad. Home. It's not that bad, really. Okay, it tastes like grass. It really did taste like. It really did taste grassy. like grass. Too much balsamic vinegar. It was just like spinach with vinegar. Just like 10p probably cost. I mean the iceberg soup, on the cake. Soup was just blended seafood from yesterday. It was just kind of gross. Uh, steak was great. We had like a mango. No, we had like yeah. a watermelon weird chunky. Watermelon sorbet. covered in basically what was just like. Sugary, mango sugar, candy. yeah. In between the soup and the steak, which was bizarre. Yeah. Um, and then for pudding, it looks like sausage meat. Sausage meat or like a pate. Yeah. With like caviar on top. They told us it was a Jamaican cake. With the pudding was disgusting. It looked like pate or sausage meat. And in summary, it was 